Heidi ho neighbors, Rado Goji here, and welcome back to Squeeze the World Presents Fez. And here's an owl. I'm gonna to talk to him real quick to see if many are one, the one is many. Okay, it's a good thing that I didn't miss that owl and my controllers, of course, now deciding to run low on battery power. Um, now, oddly enough, today is Friday. I'm actually doing recording on a Friday because my normal Friday plans didn't actually pan out today. Um, and I'm going to be doing a whole big thing with Final Fantasy, uh, 11, uh not 11, 14, uh, the next couple of days, so I, I'm not going to have a chance to really record. So, I decided that, well, it, this, this is a fortuitous, uh, situation where I can just play some Fez. Now, um, do note, I haven't played too much more. I did play a bit more for, uh, as far as walkthrough and notes go. Um, so I don't know if I'm going to have enough notes to make a full set of seven videos today. Um, I added in a little bit to the what what I had left um, in the walkthrough. So I hope hopefully it's enough to make a good couple videos. Uh, if not, well, we'll just have to live with that. Okay, now first off and foremost, um, this pillar here I believe is the next thing that we were going to do. This pillar is actually very important, and. Um, we're going to do the combination here, which is left L, right R, up X, down R, R. And what that has done is opened up the waterfall here. And that's actually very important because inside there's a valve. And much like the valves in the sewer, we can use it to lower the water level here. But this doesn't just wa lower the water level in this room. Um, it also, well, actually, let me... We'll get to that when we get back to it, but um, there's, there's a door in here. So let's uh, go into this door and see what's in. It's a treasure chest. And inside the treasure chest... is a treasure map badly burned treasure map. That's going to be a big, big thing um, upcoming uh, in a little bit here. Now, um, lowering the water level here didn't, like, like, I, like I was saying before, didn't just lower the water level here. Uh, it also lowered the water level pretty much in every single one of these water sections. So there's a door down here now. This is the door we want to go to. Well, in any particular door. We're just filling out a map here. And uh, actually, this is one I was just working on today. Um, I am kind of doing this a little out of order, but uh, at least out of order as far as what I have written down, but that's okay. Um, this is one of the big, big puzzles of the game. There are three big puzzles that give you items that don't necessarily really have much of a... Uh, an impact on the rest of the game or your percentage or anything like that, but I'm getting them anyway. Now, as you can see here, there's, there's a, uh, a big block here with some writing on it, and the writing states, please answer the security question. What's my name? Security question hint. My first half is what it is. My second half is half of what made it. Um, now, I probably wouldn't have gotten this if it didn't, if it wasn't on the internet or whatever. The answer to the question is Metatron, M-E-T-A-T-R-O-N, and the way that we answer the question is by manipulating these blocks. Um, now, the block manipulation here is, um, is kind of, uh, weird, because we have to spell out Metatron, but we have to basically spell it out in such a way that it mimics like the standard writing style. Um, so we're get, we, it basically has to be you know up to down, left to uh, right to left. Um, so we're actually going to be arranging the letters right to left, but also turning them on their side so it looks like what they do, what they look like when they're, you know, if you look to the side, you'll see it's you know Metatron from top to bottom. So the time-consuming part is finding all the letters and putting them in their spot. And what I like to do is I like to set them up in such a way so that they're all in a row because we still have to keep the same spacing as before. 
try to find the E. And also another thing is that some of these blocks have, have more than one of the same letter on them. Because, you know, obviously we're going to have two T's for Metatron, but... You do need to be careful and make sure that you don't take too many of this, you know... You might have to rearrange some, some letters again, or whatever. You know what I mean. And also, lifting them up when when the um, when the letter that you want is facing the screen, and then swapping will keep that letter toward you. So that way, because uh, I'm basically lining them up on this screen with the door. Um, and if I don't do that, then I can't get the, you know, the letter that I want. But like I said, this is the most time-consuming part. So I may as well talk about other things here. Um, there was the uh, whole thing. I, I did... Uh, we, we last last night, if uh, if those of you watched, uh, Greg and I um, streamed uh, the demo for Dragon Quest uh, Dragon Quest Builders, which is a game that I'm very very excited about. Really, really can't wait for it to come out. Um, it's coming out in a little over a week. Uh, I think on the 11th is when it's coming out. I'm trying to push this this block off of this block. This is awkward here. Pick it up. So that's not giving me a lot of room to stand on the edge. Um, but I realized, because I, I actually did a little bit of um, watching the video. I'm actually going to go ahead and reset the room real quick. Because that's annoying. And I'm not going to be able to get anything done with it on its side like that. Okay, so... This one over here. The sideways M. It's like an S right now, but if you turn on your side, it's gonna be on its side it's gonna be a uh, it's gonna be an M. And that's fine there. I just wanna move this stuff out of the way. Because I don't want to throw the blocks on top of each other, because then it'll just get into a position where I'm not gonna necessarily gonna be able to get them back off. Like so. At least with this time I actually have a way to push it over. I gotta find the E. Here's the E. The sideways E. You know what I mean. Alright, um, I actually did uh, watch a little bit of it after the fact, and uh, I, I realized that the, um, that the, the streaming quality Apparently it was not great. It probably has something to do with um, my uh, the wireless network in the house, like how I'm on the top floor. The um, and I don't have a I don't have a there any way to get a wire up here from the router. I don't know if the the No Man's Sky um, stream ended up that way as well. But that did kind of make me sad when I found out that hey, this doesn't look as awesome as it should. Actually, that's an M. Okay, so I actually have to... Because the T is over here. Not the T, the R is over here. Oh, no, the A. This is the A. Okay, so I gotta move some stuff around again. And then over here is the M, I guess, that I would want to use. So I'm just gonna move this stuff over. A little bit. The most fun part, let me tell you. Alright, so. No, this A will be an M now, or M will be an A now. And I'm gonna take this over here. Well, actually, that could have been an. You know, whatever. We're still gonna have the right solution when it's all said and done, so. Alright, so let's toss the M over there. So that's meta. Another T. And all of these blocks have the same symbol on them, just in different positions. So it's a, it is actually kind of easy to figure out which one is which, or which ones you're going to need. So I keep 
can't really see this block. I'm gonna push this one over a bit. Because the uh, the holes aren't exactly big enough to actually get the blocks through. Okay, so we're... Let's make this into an N. Start throwing them on the... From the other side again. Alright, so... Well, I don't want the end to be all the way over there. I just want the end to be there. That's a good spot to put it. Then... This is an O. Or at least it is on the side. Damn it. Alright, I'll just push this off. I actually have room to push it now. around so it's like this for the R I'm actually gonna start putting these in place as well and I do want to space out this one so we should be good now there's a little bit less space than I would like to be able to line it all up but in the interest of time Damn it! Throw it from here. And then we can just throw this one in place. From here, and then push R twice. And that is, um, we, you found a, what is this? I don't even, um, I don't know if it shows up in the inventory at all. No, it doesn't. Uh, I call it a heart cube. I know a lot of other people call it heart cube because that's kind of what it looks like. But, um, that's basically what that is. All right, so next up, before we get, here. Damn it. I'm trying to hop back up there. You see that little indent over there? I don't know if, if, if it was showing it before when the when I first started the video. Or if we saw it before. I can't remember. I'm going to just jump over here. This uh, indent here. I'm actually going to wait for this to, uh, to be nighttime because this is going to be a, uh, a thing. Anyway, I don't I don't know if uh, if streaming from my uh, from my console at the moment is going to be a great thing because of how low the quality was when we did Dragon Quest. I could have sworn that that uh, that No Man's Sky looked fine. I think it's because I tried to go for too high of a resolution or too high of a of a quality. Uh, and there was like a, a few seconds or so that were that were actually clipped out because of the um, because of the uh, the connection. Which is why it sounds like during the during the Dragon Lord speech, it sounds like a little bit of it was cut out because it was. And I don't know if it's going to turn nighttime before the video ends. So yeah, I, so I don't know if I'm going to be uh, streaming anymore for the time being. So I guess that means I'm putting Digimon on hold. I mean, Digimon's been on hold for quite a while. Don't get me wrong. But um, before we do that next that that uh, indent thing, let's go in here. And we're going to start the next video here, so when we come back, more puzzles, more anti-cubes probably, all sorts of more stuff. I've been Rado Goji, and I'll be here next time. Join me, won't you?